In this video, I'll cover a brief demonstration of the integration between HubSpot and Dynamic CRM. HubSpot is going to be used to capture any inbound lead activity. In this case, we're going to leverage a web form to capture information from our prospect and bring that into HubSpot. Now, a common issue that occurs is that people don't fill out this entire form. As you can see here, I'm purposely leaving my company name blank. We're going to leverage another piece of this integration with the data services layer in order to enrich that lead to ensure that I actually capture who this individual works for, what industry that company is in, the size, the revenue, things that I can use to make a better decision about how to follow up with that individual prospect. What I'll find in HubSpot first is that unenriched lead. We're leveraging the built-in HubSpot webhooks in order to call out to that integration layer, pass the lead to the enrichment, and re-update it inside of HubSpot. This ensures that it's able to be used for my marketing purposes, but also when it gets synchronized with Dynamic CRM, it's a more complete record for my sales team to follow up with. Once that contact is enriched, now I can synchronize it with Dynamic CRM. The way this works is it checks first to see if this person's already a contact in Dynamics. If it is, it will simply link that contact record together with the HubSpot record that came in. If it's not already a contact, it checks to see if this is already a lead. If it's neither a contact nor a lead, we'll go ahead and create that record as a brand new lead inside of Dynamics CRM. Now on the lead record inside of CRM, I can see a couple of things. One, all that HubSpot property data has been brought across, name, company, etc. What I also see is I've got custom fields that store some of that HubSpot data. So when did that person come first to the website? How did they get there? How many emails have they been sent, etc. Lastly, at the bottom of this page, you see we have two dynamic iframes. Those display relevant information around that contact in HubSpot without ever leaving CRM. The big benefit of using these iframes is you don't have to share a login for your sales team to get access to some of that HubSpot data. Now that this record's in CRM, the sales team can follow up and work through their sales activity with them. So they can qualify that lead, create opportunities around it, and allow some of that data to get synchronized back to HubSpot. The integration will track that sales cycle inside of CRM and ensure that the lifecycle stage inside of HubSpot is updated properly. Once that person has an open opportunity, the lifecycle stage is an opportunity. Once that opportunity is closed one, the integration will also update the lifecycle stage to represent that they are now a customer. This allows our marketing team to better track the ROI on their campaigns by giving them access to some of the results of the sales effort inside of CRM, but presenting it to them within HubSpot. By leveraging Scribe Online for this integration, we not only get a nice baseline integration which comes pre-packaged and out of the box, we get the additional components of things like the dynamic iframes, but it also allows us the flexibility to make changes to that integration over time. For more information around our dynamic CRM and HubSpot integration or ScribeAlign in general, please follow up with us at sales at scribesoft.com.